Uh, I'll be uh, presenting uh, um, mainly a study that we've done on trust. Uh, on uh, so um, we uh, we send a questionnaire to our members on the blah blah card to know what they thought uh, was important in trust and uh, how they uh, they figured it, it was. Uh, I hope everything will be okay with the presentation. It's already you know the, the PC Mac problem, so I hope uh, everything will be fine. Um, so. Uh, we, we see trust as the engine of, the sharing of uh, our platform, which is a ride-sharing platform, but we also see trust as uh, an, an engine for the entire sharing economy because the problem we are facing, uh, everybody is facing it in, the, in building a, a new marketplace. Uh, so I began with a very, uh, very broad conception of what is trust. Uh, so this is just what you get when you go on Sigma, on ThinkMap and then you create what trust relates to. Uh, so it's a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, concepts which are very deep uh, in our uh, uh, in our mind and in our hearts. Um, so it's uh, belief, desire, hope, confide, commit, and, and trust. Uh, then it's a, it's a lot of uh, confidence, faith. Uh, uh, you could you could go forever. It's really profound. It touches the way we see the future and the way we want to interact with the people. And uh, in order to interact safely. We want to be sure that um, that we have uh, that that everything will be okay, and we need to have some parameters to estimate whether or not we can trust uh, a new person to interact with. Um, so, the question is, how can we build trust uh, both in uh, in the real life and uh, in online? So. Uh, it's a challenge to build it online so that people will trust each other even though they have never met each other. Um, so we could talk about uh, trust as a relation between two people, trust as an identity. Uh, I trust you because I know exactly who you are. Uh, trust uh, as the more information you want to get, so it could be a picture, it could be uh, all the, the preferences that you have displayed, your shot bio, what you've done, then the reputation, which would be uh, what other people think about you, and then uh, verifications, which will be, I know someone else has checked upon you, and I know that you are very uh, trustworthy because those people have said that you are sort of approved. So we try to uh, reproduce that trust online um, the, in, in the more complete way we can. So um, the way we do that is uh, on the website, we will display, uh, so first, the identity with the picture, uh, even though we don't have the complete name, at least you know that this guy is John. Um, and then you have uh, the preferences, so he says that uh, he listens to music, he accepts animals in his car. He doesn't smoke because it's also something important when you want to share a ride with someone. And um, he is uh, blah blah, because I, I, I don't know if you know the name blah blah car comes from the fact that on your profile you can say how much you talk. So you say if you are blah 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 or blah blah blah. And uh, this, uh, this uh, helps also uh, figuring out with whom you will be uh, riding with. Um, so the then uh, there will be some verifications. So here we verify the phone number, we verify the email, we also connect the guy to uh, Facebook. So we've done some checks and then you, you have some more information. Uh, so you have the car, you have the exact car he's riding with, you have the color, uh, the comfort, you have a picture. Then uh, you also have a little text that says, uh, what the guy is doing. And then you have the reputation, which will be the, the ratings uh, about the person. And so it's a, whole, uh, it's a whole set of parameters that we put inside the platform to build trust between people so that when you arrive and you want to ride with John, you know things and you have some sort of context that uh, will help you have trust in this person so that you can ride with him. Uh, so just to be totally clear what we do, we share rights, which means that uh, we allow drivers who have empty seats to sell them to passengers who will be paying and sharing the cost. So basically, if uh, gas plus toll is 90 euros when you're alone in your car, by sharing a ride, uh, you would be able to divide those costs with the passengers. And so uh, you will save money, and the passengers will be able to travel for very cheap. So in France, it, it will be uh, uh, trips like uh, from Paris to Lyon for 25 euros, or you could go from uh, Barcelona to Toulouse for 20 euros as well, and then uh, you could go from uh, Milan to uh, Roma for uh, I think it's 15 or 20 euros as well. So it's very very cheap uh, way 
of uh, traveling for passengers, and it's a way to save a lot of money for the drivers. Once the driver has begun to share their rides, uh, they cannot stop uh, anymore because uh, uh, they were used to do it alone, and the first time they do it, they will earn like uh, 100 or 150 uh, euros, and then they will just think, oh my God, I've lost that much money for years, and now uh, <laughs> I can, I can uh, offset a bit of my cost. So what we've done in the past years was really building the platform and building uh, so that it can scale on a European scale. So um, as you can see, so we, we began in 2004. So I spared you like uh, all this, which is like uh, the, the thickness of the, of the line. Well, and, um, and so uh, I, I only started to represent here the traffic, well, the, the number of uh, passengers transported in 2007. So here we had no trusted profile, which means you had basically uh, profiles of people online, but with no picture, with uh, no not much information, with no rating. And then uh, what we do is um, we we had the online ratings uh, from two on 2009, 2010, 2011, and so it began to help the, the growth. And then uh, we added the online payments so that people could uh, really engage themselves beforehand uh, with uh, with the people. Uh, so they could know that uh, they, they, they would know uh, that the passenger is coming because the passenger paid beforehand. Because we had a problem when uh, people did not have to pay uh, beforehand because uh, they sometimes they wouldn't show up. So you would have like uh, more than one out of three passengers who would not show up. So the driver would be expecting the passenger and the passenger either would cancel by a phone call or not show up at all. Uh, and so we added the online payments, and now we are uh, under 4% of uh, cancellations, which is really, really low. Uh, we divide it by 10, the number of passengers who don't show up, just thanks to the uh, uh, online payment we put ahead. So uh, why does it work? It works because we made the platform easy to use. Uh, we have a great support, so every time uh, people ask questions, uh, we answer and we have uh, good answers. And also because in the center of everything, we know that there is trust, trust that the people can put in our platform, in our service, and trust that the people can put in one another when they get to meet together because they have all the information they need. So then we, in the study, so now I'll begin uh, presenting the study. You have the study because it was distributed at the entrance, so you should all have it. Uh, it's called the uh, Trusted Online Communities. So yeah, it's this, uh, it's this book. So you could look at it, uh, and we, we'll go through. Uh, <laughs> it is a, it is the back uh, wish fest. So we ask many questions to uh, our community. So first of all, we we ask them, uh, what do you share actually? Do you, you share rights, but do you share something else? And so uh, we ask them uh, about secondhand buy and sell, skill sharing, home space, crowdfunding, P 2 P car rental, and we see that secondhand buy and sell is something that has existed forever. So lots of people are doing it. So the blue part would be uh, people answered, I do it and I was doing it before I started to use blah blah car. And uh, the, um, the next one would be I do it and I began after uh, I uh, started to use blah blah car. So which would be the, um, maybe the, the what we brought to those people that uh, they began with ride sharing and then they continued on another activity. And then uh, the people, the next category is the people who intend to do it then uh, the people who've never heard of it and the people who do not in, uh, intend to do it at all. So um, you, you'll be able to, to read that in more detail, but basically we see that the people who do ride share do lots of other sharing activities. Then we asked, um, who do you trust in life in general, like without uh, considering internet? So, uh, so it, it's a bit harsh to put numbers on this, but actually when you had to answer, we said, uh, do you trust this person? Like you don't trust at all, trust a little bit, you trust more, and you, you have a complete faith in, the, in this person. And so uh, we see that um, someone with, uh, uh, with uh, a profile with no information on it will be 1.9, so a stranger in the street will be 2.15, so when you see at least who the person is, then you have more trust. And then we go to the people we know more, so the, your neighbors, uh, will be trusted 3.3, and then uh, family and friends would be trusted to um, 4.7. So we remark there is a difference here. I don't know if it's uh, really a data difference or if it's really a, a trend, 
but like we trust our friends more than our family, which, which could just uh, suggest that uh, actually we choose our friends, we don't choose our family. But uh, we, don't, uh, we don't want to go too deep into that. Maybe we'll do another poll and we'll see if uh, this trend uh, is uh, always the same. So, and then we asked about online communities. So, um, what is the degree of trust you give to uh, different members online? And so we rank them. So, we still have someone with no info, so like a stranger online is 1.9. Then if you only add a picture, uh, you arrive to 2.5. And then if you add, uh, if you add a verified uh, number, uh, it's 3.2. And uh, if you add positive ratings, uh, it's 3.39, almost 3.4. And then if you have everything, which means you have a picture, you have a verified number, you have positive ratings, then you are at 4.23, which means that it's way above, uh, way above a neighbor, and uh, it's almost like a friend. If you remember, just the previous graph uh, was showing uh, where uh, the neighbors and the friends are, and uh, here, with uh, a complete profile, you're just right there at 4.23. So it's very... Um, it's very interesting to see that online we can create actually uh, trust. So it helps uh, continue. We know we have some uh, other things to do and we will continue to build trust, but uh, we know that we're on the good path because the more trust we build, the more uh, transactions there will be and the more uh, right shares there will be uh, everywhere. Um, then we ask, uh, why do we share? Uh, so we, we have a the motivations, uh, which are mostly economic, social, and environment. And so it helps us also determine uh, why uh, people share and uh, uh, what we should emphasize. So basically, 85% 80, of the people share to save. Uh, that's their main reason. But then we know that if we ask them uh, before they share why they share, they will say it's because it's for economic reason. But if we ask them after they shared for the first time why they share, it's different. Because they will say, yeah, of course it saves money, but also uh, I have met uh, great people and this is why I share now. So we will do a, a more complete survey maybe uh, later on, which will show this difference because uh, the first reason why uh, you will be sharing on the first time is not the same reason that you will share uh, on your second and third time. So, and then we ask ourselves, what is the role of the team? So this is the team of uh, BlaBlaCar, so we are like uh, 65 people now. We are spread out in, uh, in six countries, and we really want to know what, uh, what people are expecting from us, what, the, uh, uh, what are the, uh, their expectations uh, towards uh, the, the work that we do to put them in contact. So, uh, and this could, be, uh, this could be as well something uh, that uh, spreads out to other platforms. So what is the role for a platform like ours? Uh, the main role appears to be at more than 74% uh, that uh, we should bring regulation. Uh, by uh, regulation, it means that uh, we moderate the content so that people are sure that the content that they find on the platform is, uh, uh, is relevant, that it's not, there is no, uh, uh, fake ads or there is no uh, people who are not uh, trusted so they really rely on us to uh, be sure that the uh, everything they will find on the platform is clean um, and then they say that uh, it's a platform of shared value so it's uh, it's a bit broad but it means that uh, they feel like a spirit uh, in the community and they really belong to, uh, to the community we built so in order to uh, carry all this uh, heavy subject heavy topic uh, of trust we created a uh, superhero, maybe you've seen, uh, if you've looked at the, uh, at the study. Uh, the superhero is Trustman, um, and Trustman is carrying all this trust with him. So you can find, um, actually, the complete study uh, on uh, betrustman.com uh, if you want to have some more uh, information. And uh, if you want to contact us as well uh, on this topic, you're welcome to do so. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Frédéric. Do you have any question for Mr. Mazella about trust and confidence or anything? Please again say yes. <laughs> or maybe it was very clear. Hi, I, I've taken a look and I think it's really, really interesting research. Have you found any differences across startups? 
uh, well, for, for now, uh, this uh, we haven't uh, split uh, this into cultures. We didn't have enough results. We would need like a thousand answers per country, which uh, which would be a broader research. So, but I think the more we will study this subject, the more we'll have information. So for now, the answer is no because we don't have enough data. But then we will we will uh, announce that later on. Other question? So thank you very much, Frédéric. Thank you.